about how they can cook and season their food to take two thirds of the sodium out of your diet. We use all natural sea salt and no MSG. If you look at the, what's really in these products and these bottles, that's you have the. To tell me, I, I barbecue. Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and we're down here at the FBA uh, Florida Triple Crown in Perry, Florida. And man, we found this exciting uh, grilling gunpowder, uh, some fantastic, uh, and I was noticing this picture uh, looked like uh, some man that was around here. And there, there he is, right there. Hey, hey, hey how you doing? My I'm goodness, he, look, <laughs> he looks just like the picture. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I've been around the uh, grilling section a uh, long time. We're, uh, I do the demos in the Gander Mountains for uh, grilling gunpowder for Eric, the owner of the business. And people say that's me, but it's really not. I was a product of the product before uh, I ever got involved with it. So I, was, I, I loved it, so we started working together. And so I help Eric out with this and doing all the barbecue contests and all the things, getting the word out. Okay. Getting the branding. Well, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about it, boy, folks. Now I'm going to tell you, this is some real exciting stuff. And if you're a barbecue guy, uh, tell us about the different brands or, or different flavors that you have. Well, we have uh, steak, chicken. We have Hunter's Blend, which has a little sage in it, so it's good for roadkill. It's good for anything that you find alongside the highway, so it's, it's excellent. Uh, the, one, the one thing about it, it's low in salt. So we go from 90 milligrams of flake sea salt down to 30 milligrams. We have Caribbean, we have uh, 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 some with some curry in it, so you, you don't just do your grilling, you bring it inside with your soups and salads and vegetables and things like that. And it also helps you get off of salt. So it's really, really healthy for you. Well, now salt, um, I think we've heard from picking porkers in a few of them, will actually cure your meat, especially if you leave it on there too long. So essentially your pork will come out hammy, whether you got ribs or Boston butts or it doesn't matter. And so low salt is a fantastic thing. Absolutely. When you use flake sea salt, you get that. It's, sea salt has, is, is high in moisture, which is 30% moisture, but it's low in sodium. And it, has the, it melts on your tongue and not in your stomach. So you get that salt taste, it turns the salt cravings off, and it's really healthy for you. So you, you get all your best of both worlds with this. Man, that sounds big. Now, what's your favorite, personal favorite? I mean, what do you use the most of? My favorite is the Hunter's Blend, and I'll tell you why. I like it on, on fish, chicken, uh, steamed vegetables, but where I really like it is in the morning in a hurry, get the kids out and go and get them to school, is I do a little uh, chicken, a little egg burrito with some cheese and some scrambled eggs and put a little of that on there and they think they're getting something really fancy on the way to school. Oh man, that's big news. It's, it's hard to get kids to eat breakfast sometimes, so help your kids eat breakfast. And uh, well, how are you enjoying this competition? It's fun out here, isn't it? Oh, it's a great time. Perry, Florida is absolutely awesome. It's in the middle of nowhere, which is really good for barbecuing. And when people show up out here in the middle of nowhere, you know you got a success. Well, now, now just before we go, now, now be honest. I mean, are you sure that's not you? Okay, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got it right here, folks. And uh, grilling gunpowder, awesome, off the chain. You can just tell this stuff is really good. And they cover just about all, all types of meat. And, uh, man, we're, we're really excited. Well, where can people buy that? They can buy it at Gander Mountains. We're uh, starting to do a nice distribution in Florida and other places. But uh, also you can buy it online with grillinggunpowder.com. And one thing about it is we work with heroesonthewater.org, which is like the Wounded Warrior F Federation. And Eric, the owner, contributes any online product sold, he contributes back to Heroes on the Water. So on the code, the outgoing code, when you sign off, is you put H-O-W, and he knows that you uh, wanted to uh, donate to How Heroes on the Water, which is a great thing for veterans. We take them kayak fishing. Wow. H-O-W is the code, Heroes on the Water. Go to the website, and that's grillinggunpowder.com. Gr gun and when you check out at the end, it's a little. There's a little code at there, and you just type in H O W, and and Eric will send us some money to uh, for our veterans. Wow. Okay, you got it right here on Barbecue Superstars. Now we like discounts and we like special codes. So H O W is your code. Remember yesterday when we got those beautiful snapper fillets? Well, today I'm going to cook them up, and I'm going to pan pan fry them, and place them into a flatbread with a little bit of uh, dressed up key lime slaw that we're going to season with a blast of grilling gunpowder. 
that uh, Eric has brought for us. Eric, I think we used the Cajun blend, didn't we? Yes, we did. And it's right here. We got it. Whoa! This is our grilling gun powder Cajun blend. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, this is a blend I started working with about two years ago. Uh -huh. I got the product refined. Um, I got tired of cooking with spices that were either over salted or had MSG. Oh, this is an all natural yeah. product. MSG. It's good for you. It's got a little bit of blast. It adds and enhances the flavor of the food. You're going to love it. Okay, well, let me tell you what we did with this. All right. We've got um, a, dr a dressing for the slaw that we made with your Cajun blend. Uh, we're going to mix it in the slaw here, pan, pan fry some of that fish, and I think we should get going. What do you think? All right, I'm ready to go. All right. A little bit goes a long way, so get more bang for your buck that way. Woohoo! Let's see if it sizzles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, stand back. Now we're cooking with fire. Listen to that sizzle. Oh, this is gonna be great. You don't have to have smell a vision here because you're here with me. Smell it. <laughs> and you got the vision. All right. Look at that. Uh, you, you know, I, I'm gonna, I could like run down the ingredients on this for you, but instead, why don't y'all just go to our website at uh, letsgocampingtv.tv. I'll have the recipe listed there for you and a little bit of instruction how to uh, put everything together. Okay. How's the fish looking? One. I'm telling you, when they were cleaning this fish yesterday, my mouth was watering. Really? I knew exactly what I was gonna do with it. Eat it. All right, we're gonna load a little, place a little fish on that flatbread. Oh, that smells yummy. Are you sure you wanna give this to them? I think we ought to just right, keep it we'll, first. We'll, we'll have one, don't you worry, okay? <laughs> what about the red All right. sauce? The red sauce is the tomato sauce is gonna go on top, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd my oh, tomato you sauce this? go? You want this? <laughs> <laughs> this All right. You know, I thought my sister was the ham getting in the shots. Black beans, corn, scallions. All right, here. Let's put this down here so it doesn't fall over the place. I think it's a family yeah. tree. Do a little dice. It's a family affair. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay. Beautiful. There it is. Our fish-filled flatbreads dressed with a key lime slaw blasted with... Grilling gunpowder. Cajun. Any shout-outs you want to make just before we go? Well, I wish Eric was here because he would probably do a lot better job than me, but he's down in Palm Beach doing another uh, show down there. But uh, I'd like to say uh, hello to my mom. Hey, Mom. Back in Orlando. <laughs> you too, huh, ma'am. <laughs> he's becoming a celebrity, man. Absolutely. Well, hey, look at me. I can't help myself. That's what I'm, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I think you do. Now, I got a little soft shoe going, too, so oh, if you can hang around for that later, we'll do that. That sounds good. Well, I think there's something in here that makes me go crazy. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, Florida is the biggest party in the country, and and folks, you know, it just gets a little contagious when the party gets rolling. And uh, grillinggunpowder.com. Make sure you go there. Put the code H O W N and uh, write them a little note and tell them you seen it or you heard it on Barbecue Superstars. This is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. We're gonna eat a few more ribs and maybe a little more pork. We moving on. We'll